Welcome to a new episode of What If with DJs Hack and guests on Keep Poppin'. We've all done it before, sat there and asked ourselves or someone around us, you know, what if? So we got a full hour of everyone's perspective on the what if of the day. And we've got our loyal chaos Group, our guest. There we go. I can't think. <laughs> Ta in the studio and a special guest Haruto back yeah. in the studio. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. So Haruto, <laughs> how was your week? Great. I've had a great, um, happy New Year. Oh yeah, it's the New oh, Year. Oh yeah. yeah, I totally <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> I've been saying Happy New Year to everybody, and it just hasn't been rushing. I I had like two hours of sleep last night. So <gasps> why? You Why? can take over if I start okay. zoning out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, no, I kept sleeping so late because since you brought up New Year's, yeah. I was sleeping so late over the holiday oh. that my body was just not ready for me to function. Uh-huh. And I have to wake up early on Wednesday. <gasps> so hence oh. the lack of sleep. But anyways, okay, Happy New Year. Thank you. Uh, Thank how, you. how did you spend it? Uh, What did I do? Oh, I actually uh, donated my blood. Oh. I, I went to Honyo. Wow. That's really sweet of you. It's really random, but I just felt like I had nothing to do oh. on New Year's. So I was like, what should I do? I should just go donate my blood. So I did. Wow. And then they gave me a movie ticket. So I watched the movie too. So it was pretty good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They, they do. Yeah, they gave yeah. me like movie they, tickets. They encourage, they encourage people by yeah. doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's so cool. how I spent my New Year's. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. That's sweet. I've, so... When I first got to Korea, there mm-hmm. were these the the nurses. They would yeah. be like standing on the street asking people oh. to like donate blood. They never approached me. And right. I was and I was like, <laughs> do I not look like somebody who would want to give blood? So apparently, according to my Korean friends, they were like they probably just intimidated because I look like a foreigner. Uh-huh. And so even though they want to ask, they're not confident enough mm-hmm. to do it unless like I'm actually physically going there to uh-huh. volunteer it mm-hmm. tia how did you spend your new year's um my new year's was just with a small group of like friends we just had a bunch of food <laughs> <laughs> that's what the holidays are for yes. <laughs> just that's a bunch of food and i usually like to sleep early i'm one of those people but mm-hmm. like that day i was in a really good mood so i just stayed up until like 2 3 a.m mm-hmm. i know it's not as late as m- many people sleep but mm-hmm. that was late for me well that's good yeah that's good, that's good. Uh, you have something exciting happening yeah. tomorrow at 12. <laughs> <laughs> so as many people know, uh, I'm getting married tomorrow and the ceremony is at seven, but Davi and I wrote a song maybe five, six months ago and mm. we are releasing that tomorrow at 12 p.m. <gasps> yeah. So, yeah. So like, everybody's like, did you know that she was releasing a song tomorrow? I was like, yeah. They're like, how come you didn't know? <laughs> I'm like, I didn't know what time it was coming out. I just knew that it was coming out. If you follow her or Tavi on their socials, they've been posting pictures about it for like the past week. They keep saying like D minus. <laughs> and so like a lot of the people that are like close with us, they thought that we were posting that for the wedding. No, no, no. Uh. I was the first one that said, oh, to deal mm. I knew that was yeah. because I knew she was working on music. So I was like, oh, finally we're going to hear the song. So that that shows mm. how nunchi yeah. you are. You were the first one, one right, the, the only, only to know. I had people texting me. So is it at 12 or is it at seven? I'm like, um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's at seven, but there's a song coming there's out. There's a song well. coming out. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, so there's a today's question. I think is simple mm-hmm. as it could be, but also I think you can get really deep <laughs> with this conversation for today. So our what if question for today is actually pretty simple. If you could erase one memory, like one thing out of all of your memories, good or bad, mm-hmm. would you? Like, would would you? Mm. Memory, no. Pictures, yes. Oh, that well, oh, oh, that's interesting. Okay, do you please <laughs> elaborate on that? So, like memories, like the actual setting of whatever happened. I love what, everything that's happened in my life is for a reason. So right. I'm fine with that. But pictures, there are a few that I came out really bad, mm. and they're on the internet, and I mm. wish they were gone. Ah, I thought like imagery, like I thought that when you said pictures, oh. like like mental pictures, right. or something that you wanted to. Oh, <laughs> like, I was like, oh, please elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pictures do you have in your mind that you need to erase? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so pictures of you on the internet. Yes. Mm. Ah. Oh. 
Okay. How did, what about you? I totally agree with Tia. Like, um, I really think that everything happens for a reason. So good or bad, I wouldn't re- erase my memories, but I would erase some pictures that are unknown to me. Because <laughs> there's a lot. I there's think especially lot. when you're in the business and you have at least once taken pictures from like the news types of pictures, mm-hmm. those never come out well. It's like as they want to take a bad picture of you. It's like... It's like, why? I'm sure out of those 10 million, there was one nice one. But I think they get lazy. Yeah, Because they're going through so many. uh, There's like, I just 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 use that one. one. (laughs) I totally agree on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. (laughs) It's like, as I think they choose the one that like at least half the members are looking at their camera. Yeah. Yeah. Like if half of the members are looking their way... Then they're like, okay, we're using this one. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You have a five o'clock shadow. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter yeah. if like there's the a really shadows, weird, yes. if there's like a really weird gleam on your uh-huh. forehead. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're, don't have like per- perfect makeup. It doesn't matter if your face is puffy. Yes. Yeah. It's like they deliberately want to expose you, like your real self or something like that. Which I wonder how some of these celebrities from these bigger companies, they must work extra time because they, they filter every like, photo on the internet how? i'm like how bigger companies do have damage control i do know that yeah but i mean for me the internet has always been a very scary place <laughs> 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 uh, i think that also kind of shows in my age but the internet has always been a very scary place for me so number one i've pretty much just given up if somebody wants to hack me they probably can yeah because, like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there's too many conveniences in my uh-huh. phone anyway. So like, if I'm yeah. kidnapped, ah, I'm pretty much done. Yeah. But there's nothing really to steal. So, <laughs> you want to steal my identity? There's not really that much to steal. So just a like, heads up, not really much. But um, yeah, I feel that uh, I'm glad that I promoted in an era where the internet was not as developed mm. as it is now. Because uh, today it's just scary. Yes. The things that come out, like, especially I think the younger generation that isn't so aware of what you upload on the internet never mm. is erased. Like, it is never erased. Like, even though people do yeah. damage control, it's never erased. Like, it, there, it will come out. Somebody has it captured on their exactly. hard drive. Somebody. Somebody. Maybe they're, like, waiting for it to come out or something. I don't like, know I don't they even, do like, I don't even know how, like, some of these people, like, capture stories of celebrities that, like, post it and then, like, five seconds later I they know. delete it, but they still saw it and there's somebody still had managed to capture it somehow. I think a lot of people, because it's so easy to, like, capture a photo on your phone, they're used to, like, oh, what is this? And they capture it mm. and then they send it to their friend immediately. Uh. So if you you have the right timing, you, you mm. have proof. You have You have it. Got it. Like... <laughs> especially when especially like sns platforms it is still there for even if they delete it it's still there for a number oh, yeah, of time yeah, until yeah. you refresh your page right 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 so right, it's right. a lot longer than you, you would expect right 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 that is very true scary <laughs> <laughs> that's why whenever we meet newer artists you included yeah. i'm just like i i don't think i would have the mental capacity to promote it really days, like now oh let alone the number of social media platforms you mm. need to be on top of and the number of posts you need to do daily. Mm. I don't know Speaking how... Speaking from the influencer over there. <laughs> <laughs> I t- With a bazillion followers. <laughs> I, I mean, I try to stay on top of it, but like I can't. It's like impossible. Uh, I was... Uh, this is aging me mm-hmm. quite a lot, but I was scrolling through and for some reason on my 40 page... There was this one uh, influencer who makes a living showing Instagram hacks or like TikTok hacks or Ooh. like, you know, you know, like how to make a story pretty uh-huh. or like, you know, how to uh-huh. post uh-huh. content and make it look professional yeah. or stuff like that. They're geniuses. No. So <laughs> so I was watching this. It's like a 30 second or a minute reel. And as I was watching it, she's like a simple way to make your <laughs> stories look cute. And I'm just like. Okay, so in my terms of simple, <laughs> it's like you throw a filter on something. Right, right, right. She sat there with the audacity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what it was. It was taking like a picture. So it was a, to make yeah. it like really sentimental. Uh-huh. So this person took a picture that she had professionally taken with her partner. 
selected it, somehow outlined it so that only her and her partner were uh, standing yeah. in the picture and like the backdrop mm-hmm. uh-huh. falls off. So it's like a uh, sticker. Mm. Yeah. Then she goes, she saves that. So she saved this like a bazillion times. She saves that. Then she reopens it. And then she chooses this effect that you have to search. Mm -hmm. And then it was like this rain effect. And what it does, it's like it blurs it out. So like the picture is blown up and there's raindrops on top of it. But it looks like a background. And then she saves it again. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. She takes the original picture. Mm -hmm. And then apparently you're supposed to type a period or a dot or something and then do a lot of spaces and then mm-hmm. expand that so you can put a picture inside of it like make it look like a background i don't even know what's going on uh and she did that and then she added music to it so it makes it look like her picture is the pop art or oh. the, the album cover for her favorite song oh. and then she would choose <laughs> so i was like and she saved this like 50 bills a on times. And I'm just like, and how, in this, how is this easy? Yeah. Especially because these are so short. They go past everything so right. quickly. I'm like, one second. Yeah. And it, you, you can't stop to- it. And it, it just keeps going. And I'm like, I have to watch from the beginning. However many times. Like, I- mm-hmm. That's why I'm liking the longer reels these days. Because you can see the bar at the bottom. Um, and you can stop it. Like, yeah. And you can replay it. Like some of them, if they're a little bit longer, uh-huh. you can drag Oh, mm-hmm. that to is to see certain content. That is very way nice. More convenient. I wish, <laughs> yeah. So we're not talking about that today, though. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah. If you could erase one memory, I mean, I think I'm on the same boat with these two. I don't necessarily. I'm the type of person that if I don't have the blanket kick, Eber kick type of embarrassing memories in my head, I would probably make that mistake again. Mm. So I'm glad of those. Mm-hmm. very embarrassing moments in my <laughs> life where i shouldn't have said this i should have said this they're mostly those i feel uh, like me falling like those kind of embarrassing things yeah. don't really embarrass mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. it's more of like god i should have said that no i should have said that no mm-hmm. i shouldn't have said that mm-hmm. kind of scenarios uh which mostly are like why did i why did i even what yeah. but i'm the type of person that if i don't have that experience mm-hmm. i'm a hundred percent gonna do it again Uh uh-huh so i don't want to go back and erase certain Mm -hmm. memories i agree i mean Mm -hmm. we learn from everything right right Right. you learn from your mistakes yeah i totally agree interesting though because i felt that at least one of the three of us were going to think something opposite (gasps) if joel was here i think yeah if joel was here i feel that he would just be the and just you know be the rebellious one of the group and just out of spite Uh. (laughs) go out the opposite way but yeah we I all agree. learn from our mistakes. Yeah. Uh, not to expose ourselves. If you were to share an embarrassing yeah. moment with us, uh-huh. how to, to what would that Me. be? Um, so I think like two months ago. Oh, this is actually quite recent. Oh, yeah, wow. it was quite <laughs> recent. Wow. Like when we were promoting like our music and stuff. Um, we were on like a program just like this. And then there was an MC name like you. And... Um, I usually, like, try to remember everyone's name and, like, the people who I'm going to work with. Mm. So I remember that person's name in advance. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wanted to show that I know your name. Like, Mm. I remember your name. I respect you. And I think that's, like, a way of showing Mm. respect. So I kept on calling his name, but I kept on calling his name incorrectly. (gasps) So it was, like, your name's Isak, right? Uh. So I would be, like, oh, uh, MC Isak name. Oh. Isakne. Isakne. I totally agree with you. Oh, <laughs> like, just stop. Like, you're saying it incorrectly. Just say oh, MC no. name or something. But I wanted to show that I know your name. Right, right, right. You I remember your name. Right, right, yeah. right, right. So, yeah, I kept on doing that like 10 times. And at the time, like, the other members, they knew I was mm-hmm. saying it incorrectly. But they didn't, they couldn't, like, there was no timing to correct me. Like, right, right, right. Without, they couldn't like, show it. Yeah, yeah. It can just be like, super obvious. you're saying mm. his name right, 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 right. You can't do that. Right. So it just ended that way. And then afterwards, I was like, um, his name is this, right? And then the members were like, no, you said it incorrectly the whole time. It was kind of embarrassing. And then we like um, saw the program after it came out and it was a disaster. Oh, no. Like, you can see the MC name's face and he was like, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, what I mean, mispronunciating a yeah. name. Like as yeah. long as you're not calling them like by a completely different yeah. name. I guess. Yeah, it was kind of similar. It was kind of off, but it wasn't completely different. So it the good thing about being a foreigner in Korea, yeah. we can play it off as like we had bad pronunciation. pronunciation. Yeah. Like I feel that you can play it off then because my group, we were a duo. The most thing that upset us was that when we were called each other's names mm. uh, it's like a sibling thing we, uh-huh. even though we weren't siblings like if i was called her name and she was called mine just by mistake yeah uh-huh. it would i can it would i can see so, that it would be so but you are you for your team too yeah. i feel that a Did lot of the korean staff would probably have mixed a lot of the members up not me but there were two members that looked very, very similar, similar. The, the, that uh. got confused a lot yeah but yeah, so if you were in the right vicinity, I doubt they, they would be too upset yeah. with it. But okay, we're going to talk more about embarrassing <laughs> stuff because that's that's the Yay, kind of stuff that we want to erase, right? Most yeah. people try to erase the most embarrassing things in their lives. Uh, so we do have a little bit of a skit, which is actually quite funny. Um, and uh, right. you have to be... I have to be a yogo saying. Yeah. Yes. Give us your best girl well, student. Right. Okay, girl. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna be doing our skit for today's so music cue. All right. Are you guys ready? Oh my god, you're taking so long. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm sorry, I'm trying, but the way you keep rushing me, it's making me nervous. Me too. I can't get my mascara to sit right. Okay, you both don't need this stuff. We're just going out to eat. No, 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 no. Not just to eat. We were invited. Of course, we have to look our best. Exactly. Okay, mascara is perfect now. It's time for lips. Tia, what color should I go for today? Um, I think anything will look good. Hey, hey, hey stop distracting me. I'm already rushing as it is. Ugh. Choosing a lip color for me isn't distracting. Ugh, whatever. Isak, help me. Lips, huh? Mm, let me see here. Which one should I go with? Isak, who sent the invite today, by the way? Right, you never told us. Where are we going exactly? Seriously? Like, really? At this rate, you think that all this makeup stuff is actually bad for your brains. You guys don't remember something I told you like 10 minutes ago? k Poppins, and Yim said that they were going to invite us to a New Year's party. Oh, I remember now. Hey, it's not like we really forgot. Just slipped our minds. Oh, it's surprising you guys keep a job with all that memory you have. Isak, just, just stop giving us our time. We're too excited. That's why. That's that's why it just slipped our minds. All right, at least you guys remember now. Come on, let's go. Ten more minutes. Me too, me too. Just ten more minutes. Isak, wake up. We're ready. How can she fall asleep so quickly? Wake up. You said we're late. Lay, lay for what? Oh, why are you two so dressed up? Going somewhere? Oh my god. What's going on? I think her memory loss earlier just jumped to East High. Uh, so we're talking about if we could erase our memories. Now, um... It seems that some of our listeners actually do want to. Uh, but it's more of the topic of like, if you could delete, like a computer, uh-huh. if you can delete a certain file from your memory, what could it be? Uh, Aaron, one of our loyal listeners, was like, I would love to delete the memory of being afraid of public speaking. So I feel uh, that certain people oh. that have certain anxieties, being able to delete that would be... I see. So if, if you don't have the memory of having something bad happen on stage then or you right, could, right 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 uh, so if like a phobia started uh, or an anxiety uh, was triggered by something going back and maybe erasing that uh, trigger uh, that makes sense that, that actually does, does make sense, sense. Uh, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't think makes, of it yeah. that way me neither i'm trying to think if i would do that though like is there anything that brings me anxiety that i would go back and erase you don't seem like the person to I'm have so anxious. anxiety what you talking what? No, no I'm super not. anxious. Yes, I am. I don't know why though. Things <laughs> random anxiety comes through me at random. T- I hate talking on the phone. What? Why? I don't like that either. Unless, so, unless it's work related, yeah. I don't call. <gasps> so like, I'm not gonna just call T on the phone. And be like, oh my god, boo, what you doing? <laughs> How come? I used 
too. But I think nowadays we have more platforms to talk, so I don't necessarily uh, pick up like the just phone to talk. Maybe text, but not right. Call. So there's kind of like a mutual thing. So like Joel and Tia, if I call them, they know it's work related. Like mm, it's uh, not something that can be texted, or I'm driving, uh-huh. or it's like urgent. Yeah. So like mm. it's like I'm not in the position to. Mm. like text it i'm like that too like especially when people are calling me if it is not urgent please text me me too because Uh. i'm always doing something Mm. either like so i can't like look at my phone if it's a call i feel like i need to pick it up quicker Mm. so like and it's not a good time like "Eh, can i call you back later Mm. and it kind of makes it more like uncomfortable i don't pick up numbers i don't know you don't i get so so speaking of anxiety uh it was 9 p.m Friday. It was this uh-huh. past, this past weekend. Friday. Nobody calls me at eight p.m. Uh-huh. on a Friday. I don't go out. Yeah. <laughs> and unless it was like Tia or my producer, like if it was a friend, I would have been like, oh, maybe they're like, mm. you know, it's a New Year's get together. Yeah. They want, yeah, whatever. A number that a cell phone number, Korean cell phone number that was not registered in my phone started what? calling me, and I ignored it. Uh-huh. It kept calling me again, <gasps> and I was like, okay, this is weird, and I ignored it, and they called me again. And so I picked it up. But before I picked it up, I swear to God, I was having a heart attack. Why? Why did they call? Apparently, they got the wrong number. They were Uh, just like, Tedio. And I'm just like, yo, you got the wrong number. (laughs) I did not call you. Oh. Oh. But yeah, it was like, it's just like, why would somebody be calling me? I I get when when it's a number that I don't know because I have a car here in Korea. Is it my car? Is it my car? Uh, listen, car. Listen, no, that that's one of the things too. But uh, like, it wasn't yeah. parked weird. So it's like, did somebody hit my car while they were yeah, parking? That, uh-huh. So it's like, do I have to pick up? I don't want to pick it up. I don't want to pick it up. Katrina was like, yes, please text before calling. <laughs> Mm. I saw on the news recently actually this was very interesting I don't remember the numbers but apparently most people prefer text over calling more and more as the years go by right especially women because we like to think about it first Mm. we like to think of our answer before we give it to you so if you call me and say oh can you like go out we can't be like oh let me think about it we have to give an answer Mm -hmm. so like we like to have time to thoroughly have the perfect uh, answer and then give it to you. That's true. I'm going to take notes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I usually that's just true. call well, people. I'd be like, what are you doing? I But I feel that it that is also an age thing. Because when I was younger, phone calls were the number one mm. thing to do. Because, you know, like I'm, I know that my friends are going to yeah. be able to pick up the yeah. phone mm. but i think that as you get older that perspective does change oh, just a little bit you just like start to change like are they busy right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, because now as you get older like your friends are not just at home they work and they're stuff. working busy. or you know they have their own lives yeah. they might be with, on a date uh-huh. it, it'll be awkward yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you call your friend on a date yeah <laughs> Right, right it's like you you're friends with them but you don't know that they actually had like a date tonight so it's mm-hmm. not your bff mm. like but like you know that it's like you just randomly your your bestie is not able to talk so you call that other mm-hmm. friend on your your list and then like, like yo i'm in the middle of days like oh mm. yo awkward okay uh bye mm, have bye. fun so yeah i think that it just changes as you get older uh. Tia, what did you bring today? So I brought in a list of and like percentages of the most evil kick moment. So oh like God, most embarrassing moments. Yeah. So the first, not the first one on the top of the list was twenty three percent of people. They said falling in front of a bunch of people in a public place. I didn't get that. I was like, why? Like, I can come? see, but like me too. It's like people. If it's someone that a group of people that you know, I feel more embarrassed personally. Uh-huh. But anyways, that was the first one. I have an embarrassing. I had. I've had that happen. Really? Yeah. It was the bus. On a bus. <gasps> so, Going up the stairs. No. Uh it was way, way early on in my life in Korea. I think it was like my second or third year in Korea. But uh, I was completely obsessed with cork platforms. Oh. You, you're, if you're a gor- girl, you know, like ancient years ago. Uh, like these platform type sandals that are made of cork were super popular Uh, and uh i didn't know that we were not going to be sitting on the bus oh and so we got on the bus and i was standing there and i was holding the 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 bar but i you're supposed to also grab onto a bar Uh in front of you 
if you can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I just relied on the overhead handle. And I didn't realize how far the handle would move. Mm. And the Adoshi uh. started going. He pressed the accelerator. <sighs> and I tripped over my <gasps> no. sandals. Oh, my. Were you okay? And I fell on top of people. <gasps> <gasps> so, like, I oh. laid on them. So, I was holding the the bar. And I was like, I, I oh. felt like this. Oh, my God. And then I'm just like, oh, my. But it was the dirty looks that they gave me, which made me more upset. Oh. I mean, the... <laughs> They shouldn't do that though. But like, if you're, but I feel that New York people and like city people, mm-hmm. I yeah. can do that. It's like, is this your first time on public transportation? Uh, like, psh, psh. like, how do you not have like the core, <laughs> <laughs> like core strength, <laughs> the core yeah. strength to keep yourself up? Yeah. It's like I'm trying to get to work. It's, mm. <laughs> it was a little bit of sass mm. in that. Okay, so what were some other ones? The the second one I agree with. So it's sending a text to the wrong person. Oh, seventeen oh. percent. Yo, yeah, I've done that. I thought that would be like number one. You would think so. I would think yeah. so too. But I think sending texts to the wrong person now are getting harder and harder to do. Uh-huh. Why? Why do you think so? Because we have so many chatting services. But that's why it's easier. easier. Oh. I've seen so... I I double, triple check that if it is something that should not go somewhere else. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm not one of those. But I've seen a lot of people send mm. it to the wrong place. And it's like, I've seen people get texts about them ah <gasps> that is the most <laughs> awkward thing ever like they're talking about you and you get like i think uh, because your brain is thinking of that person uh-huh their name you kind of like don't realize you're yeah. te- you're sending it to that it's one of those yeah. like you don't uh, realize it and it was too it's like it's like when you're trying to multitask it's like you're typing right, a text right, right. but somebody's talking to you and you end up typing what yeah. they're saying it's like one of those subconscious mm-hmm. type of ordeals interesting cool what was next next one was wrong, wrongly saying thank you when someone is complimenting someone else right. that was 10 percent. Uh, so like if for instance i'm saying oh my gosh i love the way you you talk you have such a beautiful voice and i'm saying it to you but you I mean, say thank, thank you, you. yeah I mean, like, oh no i meant her oh yeah uh, uh, wait would you <laughs> say that though so like let's say uh-huh. yeah <laughs> somebody like you were not how to uh-huh. what if you said like so you were complimenting somebody yeah and then not that person was like oh my god thank you would you be like oh not you would you be I able mean, to do that i mean that would be straight up rude so <laughs> i wouldn't do that but i guess in a polite way i think i'll think of it like maybe oh uh, um oh wait that's actually hard what should i say though <laughs> I've, I've seen other people do it really? like oh. no no they were talking about Oh. oh so not the person so not yeah. like you were saying it it was like some the third party yeah. was just like, like they're, they're not talking to you yeah <laughs> i've seen that i've seen that happen because <laughs> because that person they kind of get silent they're like uh-huh. i don't know what to do and yeah they, and then the person who the compliment was meant for they know it was for them as well joel so. did this to me recently <laughs> he really? didn't hear you were saying something to me or was our listener he saying something? Say, he was he like oh thank you and i was like Oh. <laughs> I think I said no. I was talking to. Uh, oh yeah, I, I, you I did. Said, I did. Yeah, she was just like no. I was talking to Oni. <laughs> he was uh, like, oh, oh. <laughs> wait, that reminds me. I actually did that in a live stream once because, like, with the members, I was reading the comments. It was oh. like, you look so cute today. I was like, thank you. But that person actually left the comment. Like, no, I was talking about the other member. I was like, secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> but dot dot dot. I don't have to talk about it since right, it's a live right, stream. Right, so I was right, like, right, right. oh. But I mean, that's understandable <laughs> if like there's a bunch of people and they don't right, say who it's to. Right. Yeah. yeah, I was in a really good mood that day. So I was just like, thank you. I really like my makeup today, Aww. too. I was like, and then they were like, I was talking about this person. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of awkward, but that does happen a lot. I think I'm going to butcher this listener's name. Uh, Jella Gr- Marie sent a embarrassing scenario that it just like my jaw just dropped <gasps> i sent a screenshot of the message from an ex that was supposed oh. to be for my friends <gasps> no, to no, the no, no, no no screenshots no, no, are no, no, the no, no, worst no 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 screenshots are the worst oh no so you are talking your ex texted you you screenshot it'd be like booze look at this and then you send it back to him oh my god I'm what speechless. happened after that i want to know I'm i mean he's your ex <gasps> Yeah, he maybe. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. I've had that ex. happen to me. Like about you? About me, I've had that happen to me. So like, not that I, I texted them, but like something I did, or I don't remember what it was, but like, yeah, 
it came to me and i was like okay I are you guys see. still friends <laughs> i mean i'm good i am uh-huh. but like the other oh, but maybe yeah. that person might be just awkward. uh <laughs> that can end a relationship actually. i erased my ex's numbers as soon as we wake up and that's because i have i'm tempted to be the 3 a.m ta like p- person so uh, i try to erase that temptation so yeah wow wow it happens a lot more than you would think but yeah i would it, figure yeah. yeah i because like you know because us girls and i mean even guys too like we talk about exes and you know mm. situations and relationships in general like a screenshot <sighs> screenshots are, that's intense it's like they're talking behind your back and you just know it and well oh. i mean as long as an ex so it's fine <laughs> yeah. uh tia you chose a really sentimental song lynn's track yes so she gonna call so i don't know what the english title back is. in time back in time okay so it fit with the topic mm-hmm. today just instead of erasing just going back in time and redoing mm. things create a new butterfly yeah so we're talking about our what if for today and if you could kind of uh selectly erase or delete a memory if you would like to uh we could do that and we're pretty much talking about mostly a lot of these things are embarrassing so we have been talking about embarrassing stuff uh it seems that haruto and i have explained some embarrassing things miss tia (laughs) i can't i'm in all honesty, I can't think of, like, everyone always asks. This is one of the most popular questions on, like, interviews and stuff. I don't. There's there's one moment that I guess I could say kind of embarrassing, but it didn't really bother me as much. It was on a Korean TV show for Chuseok. Mm-hmm. And all of the idol artists and a lot of, like, IU was on it and, like, a lot of popular people were on it. And it was, like a sakuk style so like, uh-huh. i was wearing a korean hanbok and we were doing a scavenger hunt and then we had to play as like old time so we're using the old time language uh-huh. right 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 so and so you know how like in korea you're not supposed to say hashio hashio or like that kind of thing to yourself right 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 but i was like i said it to myself and uh-huh. everyone was laughing uh-huh. and apparently but i'm like a foreigner at yeah. the time so they were like oh it's cute that's the only thing i can mm. like think of at the top of my mind Kind of like Amber's, like, uh, uh, that kind of mm, thing. Uh, uh, that, oh. I've had that several times, but I didn't think it was embarrassing because I just made a mistake. Mm. But other people would be like, oh, that's kind of yeah, cute. Yeah, I think it's mistake. also about like what you think is embarrassing. Right, your level of embarrassment, yeah. I think, also comes out. Yeah. The tolerance. Right. I don't get embarrassed very easily, I oh think. No, I think just life hasn't thrown you that many levels <laughs> maybe because <laughs> i can think of so many embarrassing moments in my life besides the misplaced uh-huh. korean uh-huh. i did a lot of that during my promotions as well <laughs> i think that's something all foreigners go through it's a natural process yeah actually i thank my korean friends for being very blunt with me oh. and i try to do that with my other friends too mm. so like if my cousin sends me a text i fix it for mm-hmm. her Mm. If she mm. mistypes something and I know it's misspelled, I'll write it back mm. to her. Um, and the reason was because if I was talking and my friends would repeat what I said, but the right way or like gave me the word that I was supposed to use, I liked it. Mm. It was kind of embarrassing, mm. but like it it helped me remember mm. what I did wrong. Yeah. Kind of like a speech class. Mm-hmm. It's like you need to practice right. and make those mistakes. I have so many embarrassing stories. We can do an entire hour of me and embarrassing stories. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, how, how I love how to just like that elaborate, please. <laughs> you must have like so many interesting stories. During my promotion <laughs> times, honestly, I don't really have much. Uh, the only most memorable one that I, it was not really embarrassing, but I fell my first stage. You so fell. our first debut stage, yeah. I fell. <gasps> Um, but it wasn't like a, oh my God, it was like, a, <laughs> oh, so, uh, in our choreography, we split to the side and then I have to go behind my member and oh, walk back. Oh, yeah. And as I was walking back, I yeah. didn't know that there was a step Ooh. on the stage. Uh, but thankfully, because we were a ballad, they were spraying dry ice, like the fall. Uh-huh. So you can't uh-huh. see like a uh-huh. foot of the yeah. stage anyways. Uh-huh. And thankfully the camera angle was on my member. So I just plopped down mm. like i sat down and then i sat back up oh it wasn't that embarrassing i just remember it because it was like our debut stage yeah. but 
Older than that. No, I have like a, you can only do this if you're a kid type of an em- embarrassing story. Do you have, you have no embarrassing stories from your childhood? I have a lot more like shocking stories than like embarrassing. Uh, like the things that pop into my, like I have one of me like falling totally off the stage because it was black and you could see it, it, so the the stage was set, set up like a w mm. and i didn't see that there was a s- spot and then i was walking up for rehearsals right behind my member and she saw it last minute and she went to the side and i didn't see it in time mm. so i just walked boop, right mm. down after that they put something so no one <laughs> <laughs> I, I was the sacrifice, was she- sacrifice. <laughs> the sacrifice to remind everybody how do you don't have any like embarrassing till like stories from your childhood yeah, i don't get embarrassed that easily maybe really? if i f- like fart I, that would be embarrassing but that's like the only thing i think i'd be embarrassed by if really? i fart in front of people and they're like you did it like they oh, just know they and you know. can't do anything right 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 right. so if, like everybody's like oh that's you yeah i'd be like I, i'd laugh it oh. totally i'd be like oh yeah 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 but inside i'd be like oh my god oh, please <laughs> just, i just want to go back to five minutes ago <laughs> i think that's like the only thing that would embarrass me but the other things it would be more of like trauma wise rather than like mm. embarrassing so like one time i remember i actually did a musical once mm. and then i almost forgot my script mm. that was like kind of a trauma for me because mm. i couldn't ah. it just didn't come into my mind mm. for like five seconds i just i was there but i have to do my line mm. and i can just sense the audience being like what's going on mm. and right also the other actors were like did he just forget no. his script? Oh, I think that kind of stuff is yeah, that, that can be very the pressure embarrassing. was it was it surpassed embarrassment. It was like scary. At right, that right, time. right, 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 right. It was a little more traumatizing yeah, than embarrassing. Yeah, so I have those kind of episodes, but not really embarrassing moments. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. How to do we kinda of have to wrap up for today? Oh, um man. But you did get a chance to fill in for two weeks and have you, like your weeks. first like guest like of a experience. It was such a great experience. Like, did you have fun? Totally, yeah. I had <laughs> lots of fun. I love Arirang. Um, Is there anything you would like to do in the future? In the future? Um, like what I would mean, you be confident in if like, you know, for future reference? For future reference. I love to be back here. I yeah right here okay again segment wise do you feel more comfortable talking about stuff like this do you feel you want to talk about more cultural aspects or do you want to talk about more like music aspects i think like interviewing people Mm. would be really fun because i love talking i told you he's he's ready to be a dj dj no no guess i want to be a dj i'll work hard (laughs) i'll work hard please like i said i can just take a vacation and have him take over Tia, yes. Congratulations. Thank you. In advance, I am going to get a chance to see her. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're going to say thank you again for uh, being on the show for us. Don't forget to come back. Get a chance to see you next time. Bye. 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 Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. I hope you enjoyed this episode of our What If. Don't forget to catch us on the weekdays from 2 to 3 p.m. Korea Standard Time on a Wednesday. Thank you for listening and don't forget to check in next week.